So Colinchoe are probably my second favorite succulent plant species. This is called Colinchoe tomentosa, otherwise known as panda plant or even teddy bear plant. And you can actually see why. It's like super cute and super fuzzy. And I think a lot of people like that because a lot of folks like to have this like tactile nature of the leaves. This particular plant is actually native to Madagascar, like many of the Kalankoe. And um, these are pretty harsh terrain plants. They grow in very rocky soil and in s severe amount of sunlight. So I'm actually growing these in my southwest facing window. In fact, I'm probably going to be repotting this one up in my tea garden, my upcycled tea garden, which I use like old tea canisters or tea tins, which you could actually see more of in like my houseplant tours or also on my blog at homesteadbrooklyn.com if you want to take a look at that. But um, these can actually get quite shrubby, uh, so they, they will spread out. And actually a lot of Colinchoe or Bryophyllum, which, you know, those two gen genera are often like swapped and you'll see some bryophyllum slash colinchoe other ones that I uh, will be featuring. But um, these actually propagate not by little plantlets along the edges, which is very similar um, or very common for most colinchoe. But this one, if you actually shear the leaf base off um, right at the stem, this will start to develop smaller little uh, offsets from that particular leaf. So if you actually do want to propagate this plant, that's probably the best way to actually do it. These don't need a tremendous amount of humidity in your home whatsoever. In fact, the humidity would probably bother this particular plant. It might actually even rot it if the humidity is too high. So I'd say low to medium humidity would probably be the best for this plant. If you have a little bit more bright light screened, this plant would also probably be fine. It doesn't necessarily need to be in a southern or western exposure and in intense bright sunlight for all of that time. Watering, this is a drought tolerant species. Species. So you could be watering pretty infrequently. I'd, I'd say like a general rule of thumb is like in those winter months and maybe getting into fall and winter months, you could maybe cut it down to by once every two weeks, maybe in the summer once a week. And that's generally what, you, you know, what I follow. But um, it also depends on kind of the size of the pot that you're giving it, how close to the sun, how intense the sunlight is, et cetera, et cetera. As far as... Um, as far as fertilizing this goes, I mean, you could just use uh, a regular cacti fertilizer, anything like a 247, 277, 347, anything along those lines. It doesn't have to be a really high NP or K value. And doing it on a monthly basis would be totally fine, but you could even get away with doing this on an annual basis. Otherwise, um, for pests, I'd say that mealybugs are something that would actually affix themselves to this colinchoe. I haven't seen any kind of challenges or problems within my house, but um, it doesn't mean that there wouldn't be pests that would like to uh, have a piece of this particular plant. Otherwise, it's super cute. If you like fuzzy plants, then this would be one that would be appealing to you.